Hey guys, I got a new video for you today and we're going to be taking a look at a very interesting new flashlight that I've been checking out for a couple weeks now. This is from Woman uh, and I'm really liking this packaging also that they sent this light in. So um, this particular model is you know, a little bit different than your ordinary lights. And I think that's pretty much what I really like about it. So this model, and I'll show you guys right here, it's called the Knight X0. Uh, it gives you a lot of different information on the back there as far as the run times and the outputs and whatnot. But one of the things that I did want to point out is that it comes with, um, we, it can either come with two different types of built-in batteries. So you can either get a Samsung LH351D or an Osram P9. And the reason I mentioned that is because when you take a look at these outputs, depending on which battery you get it with, um, the outputs do vary a little bit. Um, pretty much the only variance is the turbo output. So uh, on turbo, if you're using the Osram battery, it's gonna give you a maximum output of 1,100 lumens, and then it, rump, it ramps down to 300. And then if you're using the Samsung battery, you get an output of 900 lumens, and then it ramps down to 300. Uh, lumens and that's after a minute. So um, this particular one as you guys can see the little check mark here comes with the Samsung battery So that means that the turbo output is going to be 900 at the maximum output All the other outputs are going to be exactly the same regardless of which battery you get So uh, again, I just I, I did want to point that out to make sure that when you're purchasing this item you are um, Selecting the correct one that you're going to want with um, with the output there. So let me go ahead and open up the box now I have been testing this lot this light out so I actually repackaged it so you guys can kind of see what it looks like when uh, you're opening it up uh, first things first you do have your user manual here um, and I do recommend with any electronics especially flashlights with a couple of different outputs and stuff like that that you kind of read through the manual just so you can um, you know check it out and become familiar with it this one's a slightly thick manual because it does come in a bunch of different languages so let's we'll set that off to the side you also get a couple of spare o-rings right in here which is nice in this little bag here and this flashlight is um, USB-C rechargeable so you do get a USB-C to USB-A cable here and it's um, it's a nice length too um, a lot of times you'll get flashlights that are um, that the uh, charging cable is a, a short length um, this one actually gives you uh, a decent length and it is a Wubin branded uh, charging cable too so I wanted to point that out so uh, as you open up this little window here with this reflective backing you can actually slide this little tray out and I'll set the box over here to the side and then the flashlight is right in there. So uh, you also have this little thing that says that the flashlight is locked by default. Click the switch for four times to unlock it. Because I've been testing it out, I've actually already done that. But um, I like the fact that it's um, it just comes locked. That way, if you um, you know if you accidentally press it or if it accidentally gets pressed on in transit, you're not going to have. Um, a flashlight that's going to be, um, you know, where the battery is going to be drained or anything like that. So uh, again, at first glance, you're going to see um, how very interesting this flashlight looks. It's got a very interesting look to it. Um, this is what I what you consider an angle light flashlight. So in other words, instead of the um, actual working end of the flashlight being at one end or the other, it's on the side right here. Um, so uh, not my preferred method of carry for a light, but um, on, on a light this size, I really don't mind it. Uh, I like I like the size. It fits really nice in the hand. It is very small, as you guys can see it right here in my hands. Um, but it is very very easy to use thanks to um, the switch that you activate the light on, which is uh, another interesting factor but taking a look at your um, emitter right there looks really really nice very close to um, the uh, the front of the flashlight there uh, so you got a really nice beam shot when you're using this light which is uh, one of the things that pretty surprised me about a light this size now this is aluminum so it's gonna be um, very lightweight but it's also um, it feels very very sturdy if you know for such a small light it just feels very strong. I don't know if, if, if I'm making, if I'm, you know, saying that correctly, but it just it doesn't feel like it's going to break or anything like that. If you were to drop it, um, it feels very very strong. I just love the way that um, they kind of milled the light all around there. It looks really really cool. Now you do have these little slots all around the light here, and I believe those are sort of you wanted to add like some little tritium vials or something like that to spruce up your light. You would be able to do that. Taking a look at some of the markings on the light, you do have the company name right there, Wubin, on the side. And then on the other side, you have the Knight X0, which is the model of this particular light itself. Uh, this light is available in a couple different colors. Uh, if you guys are interested, I will leave an affiliate link below. 
Um, if you use that link, it, uh, it helps out the channel a little bit. And then I'll also leave a coupon code that'll give you um, a percentage off of your sale. But if you check out that link, you'll see the different colors that this light is available in. Um, this particular one being the black one, and I like the black and blue combination of this. So they did the clip in blue, and then your little activation switch at the top here in blue as well. Uh, it, it creates a really nice contrast to the battery. Uh, I'm sorry, to the flashlight. I mentioned battery because I'm getting down at the bottom here. Um, this is where the battery would be inside, but again, because it is a rechargeable battery, you don't need to access it. Um, but the bottom portion of the flashlight here is magnetic also, which is really nice because again, it, it gives you another way of um, attaching your light to something. So if it's a metallic surface and you need to work on, on something, you can go ahead and mag magnetically attach that to the metallic surface and you can go hands-free on whatever it is that you're working. Uh, as far as the pocket clip, it is a little bit stiff at first when you start um, to use it. Uh, and it's it's just a very interesting way of writing in your pocket just because you clip it in and it kind of sits sideways But most flashlights do sit that way anyways I thought it was going to be a little bit cumbersome at first, but once I started carrying it I found that it was uh, it was perfectly fine So taking a look at the switch up here as you guys can see the um, this whole blue section is the actual switch that you're going to use to Activate the light to turn it on to turn it off to cycle through the different modes But a pretty interesting feature that this has is it's actually magnetically uh, held in place But you can actually just override that magnet and flip the switch up and underneath the switch is um, Where you're going to have your charging port right there So your USB-C charging port is right underneath there. So that is pretty interesting I never saw a flashlight like that before but what this does also is because it is magnetic it will shut back down it becomes a pretty interesting fidget toy <laughs> and I love my fidget toys I sit at my desk and fidget all day and with this flashlight um, it was pretty much the same I just sat there while I wasn't using it you know as far as shining the light around and stuff like that I was just kind of sitting there and fidgeting it with it all day and it was a lot of fun now you do have a, a little um, kind of sticker on the bottom here now they do warn you not to remove that this actually um, basically prevents the little pistons here uh, that are going down as you activate the switch from making contact with the uh, switch portion here, the aluminum switch portion. So they tell you to go ahead and leave that in place. It also helps from any dust or anything like that to get, in, to get into the uh, USB uh, port right there. Now uh, on top of the USB port there, if you guys can see that kind of little clear section, that's your, your button basically that when you press down on the little gate here is activating the light so as you press down on it it activates the light turns it on turns it off cycles through the modes and stuff like that i like the fact that it is silent so you can you can't even hear, I mean, unless I'm quiet, you can barely hear me clicking on that button, which is really nice. A lot of times um, certain clicky buttons on flashlights are really clicky and it becomes a little bit annoying unless you're uh, obviously fidgeting with them. Then right at the top here, you do have a, um, a little LED light, which will let you know the status of the battery. So if I press it, you'll see that it is blue. That means that I have good battery, but it'll change colors depending on um, the different, uh, you know, how much battery you have left and stuff like that. And then after a little bit it actually goes away even though the light is still on and then when you press it it will turn off so I, as i mentioned this light does have a lot of different modes which is really nice especially for an edc light which this is exactly what it was what this would be um uh, you know especially because of the size as you guys can see i can have it here in my hand but also because of that angle feature um you know it, it allows you to use it for different things in different ways so normally um, somebody will hold the flashlight in their hands but if they wanted to go hands-free they would have to either like stick it in their mouth or something like this again with that magnetic base you can attach it to any metallic surface but with the clip being on the side here and the light being at an angle you can actually attach this to um, a shirt if you wanted to put it on the brim of a hat and have the, the you know the light point down to at your feet if you're walking around or something like that you can do that as well if you're wearing a backpack you can actually attach this to one of the backpack straps and it'll point straight out so again a lot of different features with a light um, when it is in this angled um, kind of format all right guys so i am currently outside here in front of my house in my driveway 
Here's a couple of the cars. I wanted to go ahead and give you a uh, quick look at the Wubin X0 here. I actually have it in my hand. I don't know if you guys can see it. I do have a motion light inside of the garage. That's why there is a light there, but there's no physical lights that are turned on. Uh, if I were to turn it on, it would be a lot brighter out here. But I figured, you know, this is probably what most people are going to be using the X04, which is maybe you're getting home and there's no lights. Uh, you're looking for something on the ground or something like that. So let's start with that. Now, the way that I hold it is I actually hold it in my hand here. Um, let me kind of come this way a little bit so you can see it better. I hold it almost like if I was holding a lighter, you know, so I use my thumb to activate the switch up here and I kind of just rest it in between my hands there. Now, um, if the light is on, I can actually transition down to this grip and just kind of wave it around if I wanted to. But, you know, just for um, regular usage, this is the way that I grab it. I wanted to go ahead and show you guys that. So I'll go ahead and turn the light on. Now this is going to turn on at the lowest mode. So this is moonlight. Again, um, it's just enough to be able to see around right in front of me. But if I wanted to push that light out, as you guys can see, it doesn't really go out that far. So if I go ahead and press and hold, it'll transition to your medium mode. Again, you're getting a little bit more light. I can see uh, maybe a couple feet in front of me right there uh, on the lawn and stuff like that to the car. Uh, but again, um, this is more uh, directly in front of me if I'm looking for something. Then if I go ahead and press it again, it'll transition to your um, so that, that was low. This is medium. Medium gives you a little bit more light. Again, it's making it a lot easier to kind of see around. So this is perfect, um, you know, for, again, 150 lumens to be able to, to use for majority of EDC tasks. But if I did want a little bit more, I can press and hold. And then that's going to go up to high. As you see, um, you get a little bit more spill on the light, and, but you still have that really nice tight hot spot right in front of you there. So you could see something right in the middle there, and then there's enough light light on the sides to be able to see all around. But again, um, if you did want just a little bit more burst of light and you wanted to go to that turbo, just double click that. And then, so you guys can see there, it is doing a really awesome job of pretty much lighting everything around me here. So I can see all the way out there to the street. I can see um, the sidewalk and everything, some of the cars driving by. Um, but again, great, great option there. Uh, so again, this is 900 lumens with this particular battery. So perfect for a quick burst of light. Again, it's going to last you about two minutes uh, and then it's going to ramp down to 300 lumens. Um, but, you know, perfect. Uh, perfect amount of light coming out of here. And then if I go ahead and double click it, now it's gonna to go to strobe, so strobe warning. Uh, and then again, this is gonna be a really good attention getter. So if you need to grab somebody's attention, maybe from far away or something like that, or if you just uh, need an emergency, um, you know, you can go ahead and do that. And then obviously if you click it twice again, it'll go into that SOS. Again, a little bit, um, uh, less output on the light in order to preserve the battery for the SOS, but it's still bright enough, as you guys can see there, to uh, to get the, the message across. So I think this is a great, great option for EDC purposes, especially if you want something small, something lightweight that you can uh, just drop in a pocket. But at the same time, if you wanted to clip it onto a backpack strap or onto your shirt or even attach it to, um, you know, to a metal surface, you can go ahead and do that as well. So if I wanted to attach this uh, to my door right there again, and it is still kind of sending out that SOS signal. I can go ahead and do that. And then when I want to take it out, I just pick it up and I'm good to go. So just pressing that button again, we'll go ahead and turn the light off and then we'll go back up to the table and give you my last thoughts. All right, guys, so as you can see, the Wubin X0 is a very capable light, especially for EDC purposes. Um, I just love the size and the feel of it. It feels very, very sturdy. It's very, it's very compact, and it just feels like it's, it can get put through the ringers, and I'm not going to have to worry about it. So I, want, I did want to show you guys again um, how I grip it. So basically, in order to um, you know have better control of it, I grip it like this. Again, like if I was maybe using a, a lighter, and then I just use my thumb to activate it. But then once I have it on, if I want to rotate my grip and just hold it like this, maybe it's a little bit more comfortable for me to do that. Because of the size, it just fits very snugly into my hand like that. So if I'm gonna be walking around and maybe doing things and you know I, I just don't wanna hold it into this grip the whole time, I can go ahead and do that and hold it that way. But again, because of the different mounting options, the magnet and then the pocket clip here, I can find other ways to carry it and it, uh, it's always at my side. So as I mentioned, I will leave a, an affiliate link below. Again, if you guys are interested in picking up this model or any other Wubin flashlight, 
please go ahead and use that link and helps out the channel. I get a little bit of a kickback. But because of that, I will be offering you guys a 10% off coupon code as well. So I'll leave that link below. The coupon code is the word iSPY, so E-Y-E-S-P-Y, um, all together. And then you can use that for any orders and it'll give you 10% off of any of your orders on the Wuben site. And you can go ahead and use that affiliate link to reach the site. So there it is. Uh, I just wanted to go ahead and showcase this really awesome EDC flashlight from Wuben. They were gracious enough to send it over so I can check it out and then let you guys know my opinions on it. And if you guys are interested, go ahead and check it out for yourself. So there it is. This is the Wuben Night X0. Let me know if you guys have any questions. Thanks.